need you all to hear what I'm saying. Success is a plan that takes years in the making. When nobody did, I believed. I had to let go of things I did not need. Cut off some friends in the process. What could I say? I could no longer carry the dead weight. Get off your ass. There's lots you can do. You want to learn something and watch how I move. But they don't want to do shit. They want to be spoon fed like a little baby. That shit is crazy, boy. Change up your mindset. I get three days worth of work done in just one. Seven, two, seven. Mindset is the hustle for us. You get it? Hey, I'm Alex Corona. And I'm Jamie Burks. And this is 727 Podcast. And today we are going to talk about receiving and how great it is to let yourself receive. So it all starts with letting it go. You know, you got to let go in order to receive. What does that mean? You know, you've got to let other people help. You know, let control be taken by somebody else. It's okay to let other people do things for you. You know, and everybody wants to do things on their own and they want to micromanage everybody and, you know, be a helicopter parent and not let their kids do anything. Again, let them do their thing. Let your team do their thing. Watch the magic happen. There'll be so much more for you to receive if you could just let it go. If you just try to do everything, you're not only going to create a bad environment, but you're going to drive yourself nuts. My problem was, is if I would see that something isn't done, just because I'm there realizing it's not done, I'm like, oh, I'll just do it myself. But really, I'm creating a disadvantage for myself and my team and my kids. They have to learn. They have to find a way to excel. They have to find a way to get better. If they are not given the opportunity to do the job or to do the sport or to do whatever it is that they want to do, how are they going to ever learn, fail, and pick themselves up to know exactly how to correct it? There's no way. You're not giving them the opportunity. The only way to learn is by experience, and the only way to let the people get experience is by letting it go. Let them handle it and then you can receive the benefits from that. So I literally leverage everything. I try to do the very bare minimum that I could possibly do. That way I can keep concentrating on the stuff that actually makes sense. And all the other things I let other people do. And that's how I get to do the things that are important to me. And I get to do what I wanna do and live a life by design. In order to, you know, do those things It took me a long time. A lot of times I, you know, obviously I I do a great job and sometimes I think to myself, I could do better than the person doing it. But after I let it go, I actually found out that they could actually do the job better than me. And now I hire people that only can do the job better than me. So that's the goal. If I could get them to do the job better than me, I don't need to do it anymore. I remember when you were suggesting we have someone come to the house and help do the laundry and wash the dishes. And I was like, why? I'm not bougie. Like I can wash my own dishes. I can fold my own laundry. I actually I'll pick up my own dog shit. It doesn't matter to me. Like I am, none of that is beneath me. I'll do whatever job out there. It has, it doesn't matter at all. And I felt like hiring someone or asking for help was meaning I was too good for that. When in actuality, it's not the fact that I can't do it or I won't do it or I'm incapable of doing it. It's just the time that it takes to do those things does truly take us away from other productive, um, spending time with the kids or going on a vacation or spending a little extra time at the office. You know, we could dedicate that time to our team if I'm not feeling like I have to go home and do seven loads of laundry because my laundry piles up just like everybody else's. Now that I have someone that, people that come and help, I mean, they will come in and there is boatloads of laundry and they knock it out in like an hour. It's so quick for me. This is stuff that took forever because I was trying to do everything. I mean, simple tasks like cleaning the floors or cleaning the bathrooms, all that shit takes time. And all of it gets done now. And Jane, let me ask you one question. How happy does it make you when all this is done when you get home? I am happy and I know you want to hear it. You were right. (laughs) Definitely that's not what I was looking for. I wanted her to tell me that she received pleasure. Yes, I received pleasure. (laughs) That was what I was looking for. I definitely am not looking to be right. You know, a lot of the things that I do, you know, might not be right. And that's okay. You know, that's why I have coaches. I have mentors. And, you know, I'm always looking for the answers. And I'm very coachable. So... I'm quick to change what I need to change. Uh, But what I was looking for was just to Jamie to tell me that, um, you know, how awesome it is. And now she doesn't have to do it. And like she said, now she can use that time for other things. You know, there's people out there that do these things for a living. So this is what they do. It's not like I'm trying to put people in these jobs that don't want to do it. This is what they do. They're good at it. They enjoy it. They're willing to help. They, you know, and they're better at it than me. So it's. And now I'm giving them business. So, you know, I'm helping them. I'm not 
you know, putting them down in any way possible. I'm, I'm creating a relationship. I'm trusting them. I'm letting them into my home. And now they're like family. Yes. So we're taking care of them. And, you know, at the end of the day, that's what's important. You know, we're, we're creating more and that's, that's what it's about. I have to say that even my mind clearly operates very differently than yours does. But um, now that I have an open mind about that, I'm starting to think a little bit that way to where if I'm doing something within my business or our personal life, I start to even think like, hmm, maybe someone could be doing this for us. Or maybe, maybe this is something that I don't have to be spending so much time on. That's one of the things that I try to drive home to Jamie. You know, there's a lot of times, you know, I'm very open-minded. I'm very quick to, um, you know, change things if I have to. And sometimes I get to the point where I just leave it in Jamie's hands. I kind of just bring it to her and I let her know about it. And then whatever she decides, I'm cool with it because I'm already on board. So um, if she's on board, then we move forward with it. But if not, no problem. So let go of the control, receive. Some pleasure. <laughs> yeah. It's a beautiful thing. You guys have any questions about it? I know it might not make sense or you have, um, you know, or maybe I uh, was speaking a little too fast, or maybe Jamie was. Again, anytime you guys want to DM us, send us a message, contact us. You know, we're a phone call away. Feel free to do it. Don't think we're too busy for you. Comment below. Hit us up. Again, Alex Corona. Then Jamie first. 727 Podcast. We'll catch you guys real soon here. You ought to hear what I'm saying. Success is a plan that takes years in the making. When nobody did, I believed. Had to let go of things I did not need. Cut off some friends in the process. What could I say? I could no longer carry the dead weight. Get off your ass.